there everyone so I thought today I would do a Lego haul with you for you yesterday I went to the Lego store in I think it's Braintree up near Boston and I also went to Boston Brick Exchange so let's get started I'm gonna start with the Lego store since you all saw the bag so one of the first things I picked up was some oh, new brick, head, brick heads. I got quite a few. Um, I saw that some of them are on sale and some of them are going to be retiring soon um, from the ones I got. So I wanted to make sure to get them. So here I have, uh, let's see, oh it doesn't have a name. But it's the DuckTales Huey, Dewey, Louie, and Scrooge McDuck uh, 40477. So this will go perfect with the Disney ones I already have, as well as the other ones I have here. So I have Goofy and Pluto number 40378. I have Donald and Daisy as well. 40476, sorry, 40377. Donald and Daisy. So I think these will look super cute with. Whoops. These will look super cute with the Toy Story ones I just got the other day. I will put these over to the side. So I have, let's see, how many now? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the three Disney ones. So I have 11 Disney brick heads, and then I have all of the Harry Potter ones that are out right now. So that's the three, the golden three plus Hagrid, and then the like three villains. So I have seven of those. This one I saw, I was it was on sale, and I was wasn't going to get it originally. Originally, I was going to stay with like the Disney and then the Harry Potter, but this one I thought would look great with my Halloween display, and it was on sale. And I think he actually looks really cool. It is Frankenstein? It's not. Oh, sorry. There, I think it focused. It's Frankenstein, and it was on sale, so I don't know. I just couldn't beat it, and I think it'll look really good with the little hayride I have and all that display set up. I think it'll look really cool. And then another one that was on sale nope, not that one, was, yes, this one. It's from the new movie that's supposed to be coming out, I think. I don't know if it's still coming out or not, but the Lego sets are out, is the Minions, The Rise of Gru, and this one has Bob Bellbottom and Kevin. And so this one was also on sale. So I got this one, and then since I got these Minions, I had to make sure to get them all. So I got the set with Gru, um, who is it, Stuart and Otto as well. I just noticed that Otto has like this cool like, I don't know if it's a coin or a medallion. It has this cool piece. If you can see it right here in his hand. And then these guys got like nunchucks. Not really sure who Bell Bottom is, but. Oh yeah, see it's on the top too. So then I got the two minion sets, which I think will look good with the, I have the, the buildable minions, the lair. So I think these will look great with that. And I also have Gru's, um, I haven't built it yet. I was waiting for the movie to come out, so I'll probably wait with, for these two. Um, but it was like a motorcycle. I'm not sure if it was like a race. I don't remember what it was called. But the motorcycle one. So I think this will look nice on a shelf together with the brick heads and then also have the buildable figures and the bike with the guys too. 
Glad I switched to the bigger table today. Okay. And then I got one more thing. Well, two more things, but I bought one more thing. I got the video set. I know video is kind of like going away and it's on sale. And this one is actually out of stock already. Oh, sorry. Hiccups. It's already out of stock online. And I really wanted this one. I really like the look of the pirate ship. And I love all the figures. I really like the figures from pretty much all of the sets. I don't know if I'll get them all or I'll just try and buy the rest of the figures. We'll see. Because I don't know what I'm going to do with them all. But this one I have a plan to put with my beach and see if I can make like a little concert at the beach. Since this is like its own stage, I was thinking this would be cool as like a little... Um, the concert by the beach. Although this is a little bit bigger, I think, than the beach house I have. Because it's one of those old, like, creator three-in-one deals. Um, but yeah, so that's my plan for this one, is to set it up and have it be a cool concert by the beach. Or I could always, like, have it in the water as well. I could have it as a concert in the water, too. That's a good idea. So... We'll have to see. Oh, there is one more thing I got. Sorry, I totally forgot about this one. Okay, so the last thing I bought, I forgot about this one until I just saw it in the bag, was some of the Build Your Own minifig. Um, this Lego store in Massachusetts. Actually, is it cellular? Braintree, yeah. In the Braintree, um location you don't build your own minifigs they have them like set up in a display and you can pick the numbers and then you can like um switch some of the parts out if you want or they already had a few packs like built and ready to go um so that's what I did it had the three characters I wanted I was going to switch out one of the accessories but I just left it it's fine so the first character is this cake guy I think it's really funny. Let's see if it'll focus. Ugh, what if I do this? Oh, come on. Here we go. Is the cake guy. And here's his, the back. And he has some cool printing, like frosting on him. And he, this head has two faces. Um, I think this one's super cute. And I think it'll look good with the new um, ice cream people um, in the beach set with the lifeguard and also like the, the robber crooks, um, those like three colors. I think he'll look good with that. And, or I could do something with like the ice cream man from video with him. I don't know, I just like this costume and I really like the outfit he has underneath without the head mask on it too. Um, his little suspenders and his little bow tie. And then he's all like covered in like frosting. Super cute. Um, for his accessory, they put an envelope. I'm not really sure why they put an envelope, but they did. That was the one I was going to switch out, but I was like, eh, it's fine. It's not a big deal. And then the other one in that setup was the new clown. Again, let's see if I can get it to focus. Is the new clown. And I like the colors. I'm not a big clown person myself, but I'm like not afraid of them. I just don't particularly think they're all that funny. But some people do. I don't mind this. And I do have that little, oh, that little like minifigure pack that has like the little fair. And I have like the Toy Story 4, like amusement park things and I have some of the Legoland rides, so I thought he would be good um, in that kind of setting to, you know, be like a little entertainer there. And then he came with one of the little balloon animal dogs, and it's the red one. There we go. And then the last one, the one that I was really excited to get, was the Brick Girl. One, this is one of my favorite colors, and I, I like the Brick costumes. Uh, I think putting them all together will look really good. I hope they keep making more of these. Um, and then this one has 
cute little pigtails and has a little birthday hat on and she came with a little green wand. I'm not really sure why she has a wand, but it's fine. So I got all of these things. I wasn't originally planning on getting all of those things yesterday, but I did because they had a promo. If you spent a certain amount, you got this set free. And I haven't seen this set at the store in like a year. I think it was last year's promo. And I was so mad that I missed it because I really wanted this one. And it was, was this even last year's? Is the little ice rink. Let's see, does it have a year on it? 2020. So two years ago. And they still had some in at their store apparently. And so they did the promo for it. And so I got this one. This was like the main reason for getting all of the things that I got. Like I said, I wasn't originally planning on buying all of these. Yesterday, I was definitely going for the Disney Brickheads. Um, because I really wanted Goofy and Pluto. And some places it's like out of stock. Some places it's not. And then I also wanted to look to see if they had this Minion set because it is out of stock already. And I didn't want to miss out on that one. So yeah, so I'm super excited I got this. And then I have a few more things. Not too many, but I did, when we did go to the Boston Brick Co. I've talked about this place before. It's in Rockland, Mass. And it's a small little store, but they pack so much into that store. It's insane. And there his prices are really great and he makes he'll like bundle a couple of things together for you and so like he's super reasonable, he's really nice, he's super friendly. I just, I, I, I love going to that store. And I find something there like every time. Oh. Sorry, one of the things fell off into the bag. Okay. So I'll show you the smaller thing first and then I'll show you the big like thing that I was super excited to find. Okay, so first off I got a couple little animals. I'll put them on a base plate for you. I got two blue base plates that are small because um, the new wildlife rescue sets have like that little river section and um, it's this like same shade of blue and so I thought it would be helpful to have a couple of blue plates to kind of try and like weave the river all together so I got two of these um what is it four by two four six eight ten twelve four by twelve plates and these are the animals I got I got two bears um I thought this one the polar bear would be good for the winter village um I can have like a little bear fishing by the stream and then this one I just thought was super cute too and I don't know where I'm going to put them yet, but I just love the animals, which you know. Um, so then there's this lobster here, which I think came with a Batman set, if I remember correctly. The, one of the Batman series, I think he had a lobster on a plate. I don't know if this is the same one or not, but that's the only lobster I know of. And then there's this little chimpanzee, which is a friend's one, which I haven't seen before. And then this cute teddy bear with a little bow tie. So I got all of those, again, and those two plates. And then... The last time I was there, I got some of the cars, cars, and they had three more. They didn't have Lightning McQueen, unfortunately, but they did have some of the other characters from the other movies. So they have one of the race cars. Oh, I cannot remember what his name is. I'm so sorry. But this is one of the race cars. Um... Pretty much all of his pieces were there. I just had to add um, this little cheese slope here. And then I have to add a couple pieces for the spoiler in the back. So I just put this piece on top for now so I don't forget. Um, but other than that, it was all there. So this is this guy. I thought he was really cool. I wasn't super worried about getting all of the other characters. Like, I wanted to get the main ones from the first movie. Like I got red. I need... Obviously, in Lightning McQueen, I still need Mater. Um, and then I do have some of the characters from Flo's, the Flo's V8 Cafe. 
Um, I wouldn't mind actually getting that whole set. I don't have Sarge yet. Um, Lightning McQueen's in it, Mater's in it. Um, I do have the other three cars, but I do like that like gas station look. So if I can find it at a good price, I'll get it. But if not, I'm just going to focus on getting the guys, which is what I was doing. And then this is um, one of like the little pit crews from... Actually, it's not his team, which I only realized when I got home. It's the other team. This is the Italian team one. I'm not really sure if he has a name or not, but I know he has a name, and I cannot think of what it is. It's the villain. He's the one who makes the bomb. He's, like, the head of all the lemons. I cannot think of what his name is. I keep thinking McMissile, but that's the... That's like the other spy that helps Mater. I can't think of what it is. But anyway. Um, and then this guy. He was missing this little arm piece. But I had but plenty of extras. So that was no big deal. And then I just need to get um, a magnifying glass. To put over his eyes. Like his glasses. His little spectacle. But other than that. Like I said. All of his pieces are here. And so he like bundled these together for me. And I got them for a great price. And I think they're so cool. They're super cute. I love the faces. Okay. Then I got this little package. Um, this is a really old set. It's set 6641. It says Legoland on it. And it's a little guy in a truck. And I got this because when I used to play with my brother's Legos, one of the guys I used to use all the time is actually has this... Um, like truck shirt on and so I got my own so I can give his back because yeah and so this is the set I haven't built it yet I'm, I'm thinking I'll do a video Whoa. I'm thinking I'll do a video of it later um, of another another day of me building this um, it looks like all the pieces are there but again like he gave me a great price on this in this set I'm very positive is older than me because it was my brother has this one from when he was a kid when he was like probably like seven so this was a great find he has a whole bin like a big huge tote bin of all bags like this I think I, I got a, like a chariot guy last time with a horse and then I got this one this time these sets are super cool um and I'm going to try and get some of, like, those favorite characters I used to play with all the time. So, like, he was one, and then, like, the blue spaceman was definitely one. And then I also used to use, like, this brown hair piece on one of the spacemen, the blue spaceman. So, I'll have to try and find that one next. But, yeah, so fun. Glad I found this one. And then the last set, I got, oh, no, it's not the last set. I have one more after this. Sorry is this one I was so excited I have been looking for this one with like all of the characters the only thing was it said it didn't have Lotso and I was like oh well not terrible I can find Lotso easy enough he happened to have a Lotso like in his minifig cases so he was able to like bundle them together for me and he took a couple bucks off which was super great so I have the tow truck and I have all of the guys So I have the actual, like, Tonka-style dump truck with the little driver in it. And then this cool orange guy. I am failing on names today. I don't know if he has a name. I'm sure he does. Oh, Chunk. So there's Chunk. And his face switches around, just like in the movie. And then the little driver's inside. I do have stretch, stretch, stretch flex, stretch flex, is his name? The little octopus guy, I don't know if you can see him. He is a little short on one of his tentacles, but it's in the back. It's not a big deal, honestly. If I can find one to replace it, fine. If not, it's okay. I'm not stressing. And then I also got lots of who is definitely not one of my favorite characters, but important to collect them all. He also had the Toy Story Western train, but it, again, it didn't have any of the figures, and 
they weren't all in the case for me to like swap them in so I didn't get that one I really want the train that's on my list too so excited I got this set I'm so much closer to finishing all the Toy Story characters now I just need I like don't have Zerg so I really want Bullseye and then I would also like Stinky Pete Oh, and the train also comes with um, Cam as the evil Dr. Porkchop, and that piece alone is ridiculous. But the last one I did get, now this is really the last one, is a Winter Village set. I saw this and I was so excited because it was, again, it was a great deal. I got it for like, what was it, $169, I think, which isn't terrible. Um, it's a great value. It came with the box. Um, it's a little beat up, but that's okay. I not huge on keeping the boxes um all the pieces came in ziploc baggies and all the pieces were there so yeah i am super excited this is santa's workshops at 10245 and i'm very excited to add this to my winter village i love the look of this little workshop it's not huge which is great because you know space is always an issue with lego and having enough space is a huge like, issue, but it gives off enough detail. The inside is pretty plain on this set, which I was a little surprised about, but again, it is an older set. What is this? 2014. So not all that, that surprising since it's 2014. Um, but yeah, I love the look of the outside of this set. I think it'll match great. Um, the little reindeer are super cute. I do like them a lot. I definitely prefer the molded reindeer than these. I do think they're super cute. I am not quite sure how I'm going to set that up next year with both sets because I did get enough reindeer for all nine for this big sleigh. So what I'm thinking I might do with these is do like some sort of little petting zoo or a little feeding area where the where like Lego kids can come and feed the reindeer type of thing. Um, so I think that's what I might do with all these buildable ones. So I'm definitely gonna have to make my barn bigger for next year or make a second barn. I'll probably make a second one. Actually, I'm gonna have to make the first one bigger anyway cause that one only fit four. Whatever, <sighs> always something. So yeah, I'm very excited. I'm so excited I got all of these great sets. I am really looking into shelves. I think I found this a uh, couple of shelving units that'll work great. Now it's just a matter of doing some major cleanup and taking all the things out. Um, I don't know if I've said this before, but like I am a teacher, so I have a lot of like classroom things and stuff up there, plus my Lego, so. My goal over the next few months is to really clean that out, um, get all that teaching stuff out, and I'm going to make that a space for me to really enjoy. Just play all my Lego, have a spot to film um, with enough space because the table that I had my Harry Potter castle displayed on, it all got pushed over so I could make videos, so then I kind of got crammed in there, and like when you have a lot of sets, it's not going to fit. So I am looking forward to having two big shelving displays. Um, I am still thinking about how I'm going to display like all my mini figures from the series. If I want to do like a picture frame and kind of make my own or do something. I found one from Amazon that might work, but like, I don't know. I'm still figuring that part out. So yeah, so hopefully I'm able to finish, kind of start working on that stuff soon and film that for you guys. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, and join us next time. Bye guys.